EA Sports, it's in the game. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live final round coverage of the International Challenge. Well, this golf course goes back a long ways to 1878, in fact. We're at Royal Troon Golf Club in Scotland. Rich Schroeder alongside Frank Navolo. And Frank, uh, where are some of the scoring opportunities out here? Well, normally when the, uh, the Open Championships play, the breeze comes out of the uh, sort of northwest, which means those first few holes are played down breeze and then the closing stretch is played into the breeze. So really, you sort of make your hay on the way out and then you hang on for dear life on the way in. Um, that doesn't really change because you have some rather short par fours to start. Like the looks of this one. Oh yeah. Excellent start off the tee. That's a great way to begin this hole. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Now, this is not heading in the right direction. Well, it looks like it's going to be in the rough. Yeah, that was a little over ambitious. He'll need to be strong with this. Well, the stats say that is a green hit in regulation. But it's not yet a par on the card. Very tough putt coming up. Even par currently. <laughs> Paying attention like a little kid at school, Frank. That baby's sitting up. Sitting up? It's got the best view as well. You don't even need binoculars from where that ball is. In the cup, what a shot. Can't get much better than that. Now at the 15th at Royal Troon Golf Club, 483 yard par four. This, Frank, is one of the hardest holes in the course. It's certainly a stout par four at that distance. Um, if you're playing it into a head breeze, then 260 yards is certainly gonna be a big tee shot. But 260 yards takes all the bunkers out of play. Rich, do you think we should tell him this fairway out there? Yeah, he's been in the rough all day long. Shot now from the rough. Frank, what's he facing? Well, the lie first and foremost. If it's sitting down, then obviously you're not going to get a very good contact. Nothing wrong with coming up a little bit short of the green. Problem is turning one mistake into another. He makes a great pass at the golf ball. It's powerful, but it's rhythmic at the same time. So missed the fairway, and now he's back where he needs to be. Yeah, minimize the problems. And he's set up for his third shot here, looking to get it on the green with this.
That's well played. Now a good look at birdie. He's putting for birdie now. Oh, man. I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. These putts keep the round together. No damage done, made the par. Seventeenth here at Royal Troon. This is a very strong par three, isn't it, Frank? Well, if rabbit have if rabbits have teeth, then this is why it's called rabbit. Very, very strong par three. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. On the green, a chance for birdie. Par yesterday, now for birdie. That was a good run right there. Almost went in. Uh, at least he's seen the line as it went past the hole. So just replicate that on the way back. Workman like hole, he walks away with a par. Frank, you've played in and contended at so many major championships. It's not a major if the finishing hole doesn't present a real challenge. What do you think of Royal Troon's finishing hole? Well, it's not just the 18th hole, Rich, too. It's 16, 17, and 18, because the prevailing breeze, especially at the open championship time of the year, which is the second week in July, is normally back into it. So you look at that 464 yards that's well bunkered off the tee, three on the left, one on the right, into a puffer breeze, and you've got yourself a great finishing hole. Frank, this is a hole, number 18, where you don't want to be in a hurry to get to the clubhouse. Yeah, there's out of bounds um, just off the back of this green, so uh, you might want to keep that in the back of your mind. Don't go long. Yeah, OB is just steps from the clubhouse. But he'll be disappointed with that, no doubt. The swing didn't quite look right on that one. Okay, good shot on the dance floor. Simple, solid, and he'll take it. But one that you need to make. Well, Frank Royal Troon Golf Club did not disappoint today. No, it certainly didn't. The old bounce and roll game. It's a game for everyone. You never really perfect it. You, uh, you just learn it and you get better at it. And with that, we bid you farewell from the shores of Scotland for EA Sports. This is Rich Lerner alongside Frank Nabilo, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.